And joining me to look at this issue is Olawale Adekoya, is a sports analyst, and also Emmanuel Tinoye, also a sports analyst. Olawale, I'll come to you first. And I believe you've just heard what Nadine Doris, the Britain's minister in charge of sports, just said. But again, the British government is set to take over Chelsea Football Club. How does this come to the football world? Mm -hmm. Is it shocking? Is it, is it an idea, logical ideal? A logical deal, rather. Olawale, are you with me there? Well, the, yes, I'm with you. I am with you. Good evening. Good evening, please. Go on. Olawale? Okay, while we're still trying to get Olawale back, Emmanuel, I believe you're, yes. you're, you're standing, you're staying to speak with me now. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. So the British government is ready to, you know, take over Chelsea Football Club from Abramovich. How does this news come to the football world? Is it a logical oh, deal? Uh, oh, that's fine. I hope you what we have now. Uh, well, unfortunately, this, this is a very difficult time for, for all Chelsea fans. Seriously, um, for me, for me, I think it's unfair, you know, on on um, it, it, the economic aspect of things. But we are in a world where you can't actually, you know, um, um, separate politics uh, from sport. I think that today, earlier today, we had a news that. Um, um, first, I will be leaning up from, um, some staff, and about 1,400 other staff, uh, also, you know, you need to get staff. So, this really affects, you know, um, um, healthy when it comes to, um, economic aspect of things. And then you get look at the movies. So when you look at, you know, things, um, from, from a different point of view. As a matter of fact, today, healthy is, uh, is a primary to even some of 1.3 million billion pounds. And the very thing about this is that um, Abdalmovic actually asked them not to pay back the debt. And we also know that this same man said the profit made from the state of the club is going to be victim of, you know, the Ukraine war. So, but, but the issue right now is the, 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 the British government are not ready to give Abdalmovic any way to even negotiate with, um, with buyers. Right? We, we, are, we are seeing buyers coming on like um, the little family the Chicago club, uh, they are interested in the club. I feel like um, a coffee businessman mentioned by us. He's also interested in the club. But unfortunately, these guys are not, are not beaten. So it will be difficult for them actually to uh, you know, um, uh, buy, buy out the club because presently, presently uh, banks have actually uh, you know, cut off you know, your chance from, um, from doing transactions. So it will be a very difficult thing for and of course, um, Abramovich looks like <laughs> is um, taking the wipes for uh, Russia. Of course, we know that this is a sanction coming uh, because of the attacks on Ukraine. But, you know, what is most surprising, and um, I, I don't know which word to put in here, is that even after the sale of the football club, Abramovich yes. cannot get anything from it. That's according to the sanction. Yes, yes. yes. The, thing is, the thing is, even right now, right now, the issue is that the, 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 the British government is trying as much as possible to ensure that Abramovich does not get any profit from this. Because they believe he's one of the key sponsors of Vladimir um, um, Putin, the president of Russia. So as much as possible, they want to ensure that Okay, let's also hear from Olawali. Let's hear your view about this sanction on the owner of Chelsea Football Club. He, he, he's been told to, to, to sell off the club. He's not been able to sell off the club. The British government is taking over the club from him to sell it and he's not going to benefit anything from it. How does this come to you? 
Does it sound logical? Olawale? Believe me when I tell you that this is the height of hypocrisy. I cannot remember the last time I ever heard anything as silly, as naughty as this. What exactly are we talking about? All the years, all the centuries, what we've been told has always been that football should not be mixed with dirty, murky waters of politics. So what exactly are we talking about here? You can imagine the level of anguish, pain, discrimination, torture that Chelsea fans the world over will be facing. Mm. How about these footballers? They are innocent. They are doing simply what they love to do most. How about the supporters and the individuals whose livelihood solely, totally, absolutely rely on the existence of corporate, the corporate existence of Chelsea Football Club? Look, enough of all these um, grandstanding and trying to... How did Chelsea suddenly become an enemy of the UK? In what way? The other time, the, gent the owner of Chelsea, Roman Abramovich, said he's ready to sell off. And he told the world that the profit, whatever profit, he will still push it around for the victims of the war. Now, looking at, look, looking at this sanction and looking at the financial implication for the club as well, what's your take? What, what does it really portend for the club? The life of the club. Indeed, yeah, the, the club indeed is being victimized. And um, you, you can see, I've read all the releases, all the comments from the principal actors. I think it's rather shameful. It is unbelievable that these guys will come out this way. The only thing they did was, look, Chelsea will not ban you because what we do is going to affect the EPL. It's going to upset the Champions League. It's going to make the league and stuff uh, not to work because of the domino effect. You know, if, if you sack Chelsea, you, you delete them. How do you begin to compute the standing? You know, games played, game against, and what have you. 20 becoming 19 and stuff. So they said you cannot sign. In what way will this now affect Russia? So your final words allow Russia are fighting. So my final word is that FIFA should allow sanity to reign because I tell you, after this, football will never, ever remain the same. Emmanuel, your final words as well before you leave. Yeah, yeah, the dispute about this is that um, this, this question is not only affected psychologically, but it also affects economically. When it comes to these of bank players, their potential buy power will be made because they will be able to transfer these any longer. So if we affect them both psychologically on the team and also economically, when it comes to the um, um, back to the bigger clubs, we can always make a um, large chunk of money. So I don't think that, as, a, as a matter of fact, we have seen um, that sponsors pulling out, um, that sex sponsors three. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Emmanuel. I would have loved to allow you to speak more, but thank you, Emmanuel Tinoye, and thank you, Olawale, for being our guest on the on news now. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.